So what do the people who live along the proposed Route 9A feel? Dr. Chumphon Sukasiam is a key advisor to the Thai Canal Association, one of Thailand's top environmental experts and a former ASEAN wildlife enforcement official. He accompanied us as we flew from Bangkok to Krabi, a tourist hotspot, then by road to the entry exit points of the proposed canal on the western seaboard of the Andaman Sea and along the route to the entry exit point on the eastern coast at the Gulf of Thailand. As we check the agenda for our travel along Route 9A on the phone, Dr. Chumphon told us that already the proposed western entrance exit to the canal has been moved slightly because people in the area felt big ships would sail close to coral formations and the habitat of endangered dugong sea mammals. To the sea by air. Dr. Chumpon led video journalist Pratik Suri and me to see how the centuries-old idea of a Kra Thai Canal was shaping up on the ground. At Krabi Airport, a prominent promotion to the nearby Ranong port being the gateway to Malaysia and Myanmar. The question in our mind, will the sign one day be for the Thai Kra Canal as the sea bridge between the Pacific and Indian Oceans? Dr. Chumpon worked his phone as our pickup party was slightly late. In half an hour though, we were on our way to the entry exit point in the Andaman Sea. We travelled by land on the proposed route. If a green signal is given, the 135 km long canal will see ships enter or exit at Sikao in Trang, a little over 100 km in a direct line southeast of Phuket. The canal will then proceed through Wang Viset, Hue Yod and Rasara districts in Trang, then through Thung Song and Hua Sai in Nakhon Sri Thamarat to the Gulf of Thailand at Ranore in Songkhla. We are going to the entrance of the canal and uh, they will show you about the seaport that uh, transfer everything from the land to the vessel that stand by in the sea. Uh, you can interview some uh, fisher, fisherman and village people there. Great. Thank you. Apart from using their influence in Bangkok's corridors of power, the canal supporters have found the voices of people like Udachai, the chief of the Trang province, to spread their message. The backers of the canal have been conducting a grassroots campaign to win support among Thais in the south. The canal would affect about 64,000 people in 95 villages directly. The TCA has local committees in place to get support, explain proposals for compensation and work opportunities. One suggestion is for 1% of the revenue to go directly towards local health, education and jobs. As the waves of the Andaman Sea softly lapped the land at the proposed entrance exit point of the Thai Kra Canal on Thailand's west coast, there was quite a buzz on our arrival. Siti Chai Bhomung, the head of a sleepy village, had gathered a few of the inhabitants to show us around. He explained to us how he was so surprised when a group of generals and businessmen from Bangkok showed up a little more than a year ago as they were told he knew the coastline the best. Apart from surveying the canal's planned entrance exit point, the TCA is conducting a campaign to win the backing of villagers likely to be affected by the canal, collecting 100,000 signatures supporting its construction. Since then, City Jai has been a champion of the cause. He pointed out where he has recommended the entry exit point for large ships should be from. Dr. Chumpon explained how the village's traditional occupations would not be affected since the mouth of the proposed canal had been moved away from where they fish. In the backdrop of islands like Kolunta, some of the fisherfolk were out. 
and soon a healthy catch was back on shore. As the fish was sorted and weighed, it seemed like a good day's work. Probably about 250 to 300 kilograms ready to be sold or served fresh on their tables at home. Most locals earn a living from fishing, farming and selling their produce at traditional floating markets or they work on rubber and palm oil plantations. Sitijai says annual family incomes can be as low as $1,500. He claims between 75 and 98% of the population of these communities want the canal's economic benefits. Bubak Pungun is a weaver and his family has lived here for three generations. But will his boat finally come in if and when the proposed canal is cleared? Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, how long you have lived here, your family has lived here for three generations? อ่าบอกก็ได้ว่าพี่บูบักเนี่ยมาอยู่ที่นี่นานเท่าไหร่แล้วผมอ่าอยู่นานอยู่ช้าผมก็ไม่รู้เรื่องนะแต่ผมเ
นะงานมากสตางค์มากมันกลายคนดีขึ้นเนี่ยคนเปรียบเทียบ He said that if they construct the Thai Canal or make the construct a building around this area, it means that his children have the work to do. If more job, it means more worker need. So in all in all, in his view, his, him, his family, his village, are they all for the Krakenal or are they still to decide? Are they yes for the uh, Thai Canal or are they still debating? Debate. Yajaj Kong Phi, who is in the house, is to make a decision or to make a decision. At this point, there is a decision, there is a decision, but it's a decision. คือคนที่ไม่รู้เรื่องอ่ะมันพูดอย่างนั้นบ้างอย่างนี้บ้างมันก็ทําภาษามันความคิดของมันแต่ว่าถ้าดูเชิญลึกจริงๆอ่ะนะให้รู้จริงๆอ่ะนะมันก็อยากจะอยากจะให้เจริญอยู่นั้นอ่ะอยากให้มีคนเยอะอยากให้มีโครงการอยากให้มีอะไรต่ออะไรมันอยากให้มีทางนั้น The the majority is support but the the small number of the Village people still uh, uh, unsure. Unsure because they don't have the more information, mm. and they don't know it should be make a benefit to them or not. Mm. Thank you so much, and we hope uh, one day if the Krakenal is built, we we'll come here and meet him again yeah. when the Krakenal is built. Yeah. How how good he ma. Now, wang wa one nung ta kong ni kut. เขาอาจจะได้มาเจอพี่ครับครับครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณมาก Thank you There have been lots of studies groups reports people who have come to study whether the feasibility of the Thai or Kra Canal is it any closer Does he think any closer to reality now 2005 now it's 2018 already มีการเข้ามาศึกษาความเป็นไปได้ของคลองไทยเนี่ยตั้งนานมาแล้วนะมันมีความเป็นไปได้ไหมกับคลองไทยที่จะเกิดขึ้นมองมองภาพมองส่วนตัวก็โอกาสเป็นไปได้สูงครับเพราะสำรวจมานานแล้วจริงแต่ว่าเขาไม่เลยไม่เคยได้ลงมาเจอกับชาวบ้านไม่เคยได้ลงมาอันนั้นแต่ว่าหลังสุดคณะสำรวจหลังสุดที่สองปีที่ผ่านมาเขาสร้างความเข้าใจกับชาวบ้านสร้างความเข้าใจกับชุมชนชุมชนเห็นด้วยครับ Yes usually long time ago they do the so we are up to take an end but in the few year mm -hmm. the team mm -hmm. come to talk with the rockhorn people mm -hmm. come to work with the rockhorn people mm -hmm. and try to find the idea from the rockhorn people mm -hmm. that uh, they do need or not and so he hoped that uh, it should be done soon yes uh, what did you you tell the people who came is it going to benefit your community, your village, your family? Oh, Kunsi Chai said to the people who came to the village, that the Krong Thai said to the people that the Krong Thai will have a benefit to the community, to the family, to the people in the village. We started to build a community from the community, to the village, to the village, to the village, to the village, to the village. เรานั่งมองสารคดีมั่งอะไรมั่งที่ดูของต่างประเทศของเขาแล้วก็มาดูกับของเราของเราลองมีพื้นที่ของเราที่ว่าสามารถตัดของไทยได้แต่ว่าที่ทํามาไม่เคยผ่านไม่เคยได้เพราะว่าเขาไม่เคยสร้างความเข้าใจกับชุมชนนั่งทําแต่อยู่แต่ข้างบนแต่วันนี้ชาวบ้านมองเห็นมันสามารถถ้าว่าคลองไทยเกิดขึ้นมามันสร้างอาชีพได้สร้างอาชีพได้ในราคาสินค้าอะไรต่างๆเรื่องการท่องเที่ยวเรื่องอะไรเพราะว่าคลองไทยเกิดมาเนี่ยคลองไทยไม่ได้มาเฉพาะทุกเศษสินค้าเรือนำเที่ยวเรือสำราญอะไรเข้ามาประเทศเราก็ He said that uh, the group that come to this area try to make understand to the Rokhon people and try and by himself he study from the uh, from the book mm -hmm. from the magazine mm -hmm. uh, from the video TV mm -hmm. how important mm -hmm. of the clan that uh, 
used to pass the country. Mm. Uh, can you also tell us a little bit more of if and when it is built, it is constructed, the movement of the big ships, mm. how will they move? Is there enough? ถ้ามันมีการสร้างของใครขึ้นมานะครับการเดินเรือขนาดใหญ่เนี่ยมันจะเดินมาทางเส้นทางไหนแล้วก็มันจะเดินยังไงครับก็ตามที่สํารวจ
They told us that the TCA has been giving them information for two years. Most though are hesitant to sell their most valuable asset, their land. But most also agree that they want the government to do a proper cost-benefit feasibility study. How do you visualize the community that you live in being affected if the Kra Canal, the Thai Canal passes through this area?เพราะท่านเนี่ยมันพัดผ่านมาทางแถวนี้เนี่ยมันจะมีผลกระทบต่อประชาชนในพื้นที่ยังไงบ้างครับอ่าจากการที่เราลงพื้นที่เป็นเ
เกิดจากการผ่านหรือเกิดจากการทําธุรกิจในส่วนตรงนี้ถ้ารัฐบาลมีโอกาสขึ้นมาก็จะดูแลประชาชนเหล่านี้ออกมาเป็นส่วนส่วนส่วนส่วนเพื่อที่จะได้ให้เขาได้มีคุณภาพชีวิตที่ดีกว่าเดิม From the several event that uh, they attend mm-hmm. the meeting, mm-hmm. uh, the engineering mm-hmm. of t a i k a n a n he said that uh, if the t a i k a n a n is settled, mm-hmm. the government will share the benefit to all the people that have the effect on the canal by. Uh, Let them be the uh, uh, community that mm. support by the benefit that they get from the active on the activity of the t a k a n a n For example, like a, a fee mm. that mm. Uh, the big board pay mm. to mm. to mm. the mm. government, mm. like a, uh, entertainment mm. zone mm. or mm. even mm. the mm. factory zone. Mm. When they got some benefit mm-hmm. or profit, mm-hmm. they will share to the local people, mm-hmm. but dependent on the government. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have been giving information to the community, to the villages about the Thai uh, Canal. How have they received it? I think everything about the Thai Canal. Uh, Uh, how long? Uh, what is it? It it s h e l f How how many detail about Thai Canal and the impact in positive or negative about Thai Canal? So the people, how have they taken the information? Are they positive or negative, or are they waiting for it? Uh, up up to we have a meeting about Thai Canal. They go back after that. They set group and talk about t a i k a n a n Some uh, opinion about uh, negative or positive of t a i k a n a n They they talk about them and after that they ask me. So I will explain them again about t a i k a n a n What are their deepest worries? Deepest fears. What are they worried about? Negative. Uh, about negative, they concern about the environment, about environment, about pollution, and about the people who stay in in the roots of the canal. How can they go? <laughs> where where can they go to live? Just like that, because sometimes they c o u s i n Uh, in 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 that uh, that impact people too. What are the positives they see if the canal comes? What do the benefits they think they get? Uh, positive, the things about the economy of the the place of the area, the economics of the country, and. They think about the job of their children. If they graduate from a university or from a school, uh, how can they go to study? And after that, they can work about uh, in Taikanen. They c o n s e r v e Taikanen. We have spoken to many people about. On the way here with you, we have spoken to people about the canal, the positives, the negatives. Uh, tell us a bit of how how the feedback you have got from people uh, in terms of the women folk in the family, the mothers, the daughters. We have been talking to lots of males. How do the f- women of the community feel about the canal? Um, the women, especially. Okay. Uh, they, 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 they talk about new work uh, and about the the t i d i n a n a n Land. Ah, uh, the land. Uh, 
uh, they upgrade uh, to to change the the <laughs> the keep of the land. Uh, they want to to keep it, not same for the other, because they think that if they sell the land for the other, after they spend all of their money, how can they do? <laughs> uh, but if they let this land to rent for someone, it's better because the land is still, still belong to them. Uh, it has been so long that the Thai Canal has been talked about. Yes. Do you actually think things will move faster at the present moment or like for 340 years it's <laughs> been just talk? I, I think uh, the former time was only talk, talk, talk. But now it's a very good opportunity because everything uh, go faster and we know that uh, the TV, the radio, or the social network, they help us to bring the news about Thai Canaan, go to the government, go to the prime minister, go to everywhere, <laughs> and go to our world too. <laughs> and they go all the way to India as well. Yeah, we have come yes, from. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> come here. Uh, I think now it's this, this time, this time. It's, uh, it's very good to to do many things about Thai Canal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it's a short drive from here to the eastern coast, where the proposed canal exits into the Gulf of Thailand on a lonely beach, midway between the cities of Nakhon Si Thamarat and Songkla. 341 years after it was first proposed though, it's still not certain which way the wind blows for the Thai Kra Canal. We ended our journey along the proposed Route 9A of the canal even as the sun set. A few joggers, a couple, a dog or two on the beach. One can only imagine how these waters would change if the canal is finally built here. We flew back from Songkhla to Bangkok for the last few interviews that we had set up. As far as we talk about the Kra Canal, which has now been named the Thai Canal so as to not <coughs> upset anybody or get everyone together, it's been so many centuries that this has been an idea. Has that changed from being an idea to something that can be implemented? I think the, the idea has changed from being, being just an idea in the past. Uh, there has been many case studies undertaken, there have been many visibility studies. Uh, if, you, if you look into the visibility studies, there have been quite a few of them done. And it seems more likely now than ever before. Uh, the cases, the, the case building up for, for the canal seems to be much stronger than they used to be, say, a decade ago as well. Is that because of the economic condition that uh, Thailand sees itself or the gain that uh, Thailand can benefit or reap if this canal goes through? I, that's, that's a selling point, yes. Uh, the point has been Thailand needs to change from being an agrarian society uh, where it's agriculture accounted for a big chunk of our economic growth to being export into being service sector going forward. And what better way for us to move from being just, you know, agricultural and export oriented into service than to build a canal and make money out of it. I think it's, it's uh, if they build it deep enough, uh, there's enough money that could be made that could boost the economy of the South. South accounts for barely 5% of the overall GDP of the country that could be totally changed if the canal is built. Talking about uh, how much the South can gain from this uh, and one of the prime reasons why possibly this idea never fructified was the South. Can this canal benefit the people of the South and change that situation around? Is that another selling point or is that something that's a stumbling block? I think the, the, the people in the South would benefit tremendously. If you look at the South at the moment, a big chunk of the economy is through rubber growing, through palm oil. Uh, if, if this materializes, in my view, 
it'll be it'll be the exponential growth that the South is looking for to move into the new new era. Again, there are issues about insurgency, which has delayed it, which is one of the biggest reasons why this canal has not been built. If this can be tackled, if and when it can be tackled, I think the canal is a decade away, soon after the tackling. It's, it wouldn't take more than 10 years to build. I think that's what they have said in the past. It would take about five to 10 years to build the whole canal. And when you're talking about large ships, we've been given presentations which suggest or claim that uh, ships up to 400,000 uh, DWT could possibly pass through the canal because of the depth. In the past, there has been, uh, would you say, stumbling blocks because of countries or other vested interests who didn't want this canal to come up because they were benefiting the most, say, Malacca Straits. I think my, uh, if it's up to, if I remember correctly, the Malacca Strait can handle up to 100,000, 80,000 dead per ton. Uh, wow. Um, I think it's 80,000 to 100,000. The rest was going through further down through Sumatra, down from Sumatra. Uh, I think Singapore has reportedly been a country which has been mentioned many a times. As a journalist, I can uh, have heard of the name for decades. Uh, as being one who did not want to see the canal go through. That was in the past. Uh, if you look at the news stories now, uh, if you talk to people within the government of Singapore itself, they would say we'll participate in building the canal now. So the, the mindset has changed. The mindset has changed from being against it to being, I'll be part of it. Just because they know they have moved away from shipping as being the key industry for them. So shipping was the ports for the biggest money makers, one of the biggest money makers for Singapore in the past. Yeah. Now it's the banking, it's the financial sector, it's the it's the service industry. Now they, they they have shifted away from from that aspect. So I don't think there's a there's a country specifically that is against this project now in this a, a day and age. You're talking about Singapore now wanting to take part in this project, possibly. There are other countries who want to take part. Are there fears also when you're talking specifically about Chinese money coming in and how we've seen China investing across the globe in Asia, in Africa, and how that's panned out. Is that a concern at all? I think that's a big concern. I think that's a concern that every country or every person in this country who talks about this issue has been raising. Uh, many, many a times the Chinese money has come with strings attached, lots of strings attached to it. What's, what those are, we don't know. Uh, that would be only known when, when the projects are given ahead. I'll give a good example. The train project that we are supposed to build in Thailand, or supposedly are supposed to go on the high-speed train, the Chinese put so many st strings attached, to, so many strings attached to the, uh, the money that was coming in. The Thai government said no. Even a, a government such as military said no, we don't want it. So it depends. The Chinese money, if it comes with a lot, lot less strings attached, lot less, uh, you know, this must do, that must not do. I think it's okay. But the best solution would be a consortium of different countries participating to make this happen because that would not give any particular country an upper hand. Prominent academic and opinion maker, Dr. Thitinan Ponsudhirak told us, the demand supply equation is different now. There's a commercial need to supplement the Malacca Straits because of maritime traffic there becoming too congested. In addition, China wants to diversify its energy routes, a geopolitical strategy which partly underpins the BRI. On the supply side, Thailand needs a new mode of growth and development, and there is a new reign which allows for new and unprecedented possibilities such as the Kra Canal. On whether Thailand will be able to balance global and regional power politics over the canal, he added, if Thailand regains domestic political stability, it will have the diplomatic wherewithal and sufficient capacity to manage regional power politics, much as it did during the Second World War and the Cold War. With elections in February 2019 and the new monarch Maha Vajiralongkorn's coronation expected soon after, has this 341-year-old idea's time finally come? Whether King Rama X chooses the Thai Kra Canal to be his legacy project is what will be answered in the days, weeks and months to come. It's an answer 
that can change not only global maritime routes but also world history.